I worked with Machunas briefly in 1966. I worked with him on in doing an installation, and I wrote a long essay for a publication that he did, and I made a, a, my Fluxus film, Fluxus film number 22, which I uh, did a little structuralist, ridiculous piece, uh, which I performed with Yoko Ono's husband, Tony Cox, at the time. You were a part of Fluxus, of the Fluxus movement. Yes. Um, it happened many years ago, so can you explain for the new generations what was, what was it? What was Fluxus? Uh, Fluxus, uh, Fluxus is an avant-garde movement that was begun in New York City in 1962 when George Machunas, uh, the man who invented the word of Fluxus, he was an organizer and a, a creative person and a very revolutionary artist with very revolutionary ideas about what art uh, must be to serve the greater purposes of, uh, of uh, life. Well, he had very, very specific ideas about what Fluxus must be and what it is not. I mean, Fluxus was not, as far as he was concerned, it was not art. He was, in fact, against art as he experienced art in his life in New York at that time. Uh, and when his first, uh, his first um, ambitious uh, projects were, uh, it was a tour of performing artists in uh, Europe, a beginning in um, Germany. One of the most known and famous pieces is called Piano Activities, which is a composition by uh, an American composer named Philip Corner. And this piano activity just had to do with doing acoustic actions uh, with uh, the, the object of a piano. Mm -hmm. And their performance of pia uh, uh, piano activities in Wiesbaden involved the destruction of the piano. And they, de they destroyed the piano with <laughs> saws and hammers and okay. they literally tore the, the piano to pieces uh, over a period of about seven days. Machunas created a manifesto of what was Fluxus, and the manifesto stated uh, that he was against uh, 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 classical kinds of art. Mm -hmm. He was against painting, per se. Yeah. And as I said, he was opposed to art, mm -hmm. per se. He was very inspired by the Russian avant-garde in in during the Russian, Russian Revolution. He felt it had more value as social work mm -hmm. rather than artwork. And how could the artist best serve society? Yeah, and not to not to be at the service of the aristocracy and the rich. I was able to buy uh, buy uh, at least 15 buildings uh -huh. in Soho, yeah. and, and created uh, Fluxus houses. So Soho was a very thriving community in the 70s, and uh, new art magazines were created there. So that was. Uh, a very important His legacy. Uh, a, a very important yeah. legacy. He also eventually. Uh, this is. The, I'm telling you the story. Yeah, of my exactly. Movie. Yeah, yeah. That's the story of your new movie. So that's uh, a legacy of Machunas that is uh, <laughs> still still highly regarded because it was a real manifestation of an ideal <laughs> that um, uh, he was he was so inspired to do. I continue to be inspired by Fluxus and do certain kinds of Fluxus-like work throughout my my art life in Los Angeles, which involved also doing many other things, uh, doing film work, and I was also involved in the uh, film underground, uh, experimental film scene in LA. I ran a movie theater on Sunset Strip called Cinematech 16, and uh, I continued being an artist, and uh, uh, I joined in with the Emily Harvey Gallery in Soho in 1990, and I started exhibiting my own work in the Emily Harvey Gallery, which was a primarily a Fluxus gallery. So that was when I kind of officially rejoined Fluxus.